All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn CSS transforms by building a penguin, step 34. So now we're going to target all descendant elements of the penguin element and give them a position of absolute. All right. So if you're anything like me, you have probably forgotten how to do this. So let's just say right here, target all elements inside div, all descendants elements right here. How about that? All right, so let's go here to this CSS combinators for by W3 schools. And we'll see down here, uh, descendant selector will be the space. So anytime we wanna do that, we're just gonna have the whatever it is, like in our case, it's gonna be dot penguin space and then something for the all. So now if you forgot how to target the all, like I also did, or at least I was so confused I had to look it up. Uh, we'll say something like this. Let's say uh, CSS target uh, all elements. How about that? An asterisk, awesome, we don't even have to go down. An asterisk, so yeah, we're just gonna do something like this. So we'll say dot penguin, that's not it. How about I put my hands on the right place. So let's say dot penguin, and let's say space, and then we'll do a shift eight for the star. Now we're gonna have the uh, curly braces, there they are. And uh, we're gonna say position is now absolute, right like that. And so this comes up to here, let's check it, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 35, and we'll see you next time.